Hi guys, welcome back to Pipro vs YouTube channel where curiosity meets the code. Today, let's discuss about dynamic cursor shapes, the different kinds of shapes. So for that, I have come up with a program. First, let me execute it. So it's python space file name dot py to execute it. So here you can see when you keep your cursor inside a particular window appearing, your cursor changes. So there are different types of cursors you can see. Circle one, there is down one, arrow one, right one. So let's see what is the program for this. Here the program starts off by importing the necessary libraries like Tkinter, Time, Random and GUI window. So for creating a GUI window, the main window is created using tk.tk and the title of the window is set, the background color is set and creating a label widget. So the label widget name label is created to display the cursor shape and color. The labels for size, background color, padding are all set. Now defining the cursor shapes. A list named cursor shape is defined containing a various cursor shapes to cycle through. So then updating the label function, the update label function is defined to update the label with current cursor shape and changing color. It selects the cursor shape from the cursor shapes list based on the length of the label's text. It configures the root window to use the selected cursor shape using root config cursor is equal to cursor shape. Now it updates the label's text with the cursor shape and sets its foreground color to a randomly generated RGB color. It schedules the updates label function to run again after 1000 milliseconds, which is equal to one second using root dot after. Now, how do we generate random color function? By the get random color function is defined to generate a random RGB color. It generates random values for red, green, blue components in the range of 0 to 255. It formulates the RGB values into the hexagon, hexadecimal color string. Start label update function. The update label function is called initially to start the label updating process. Now, the last one is we are starting the GUI event loop. The GUI event loop is started using root.main loop, which listens for user interface and updates the GUI accordingly. Thanks for watching. If you have learned something from this video, please do like, share and subscribe.